Star Wars Jedi Survivor is an absolutely massive game. Galactic, really, and just like Fallen Order before it, there are plenty of planets Cal and BD-1 have to visit in order to save the galaxy once again. So with that in mind, we thought we'd take you on a quick whistle-stop tour around all the places a young Jedi might want to visit while they're desperately trying to avoid the Empire. And we'll also make sure we avoid story spoilers as much as possible, so don't worry, a Jedi's secrets are safe with us. In total, Star Wars Jedi Survivor has four planets, a decimated moon and a space station for players to explore during their journey. All of these major areas are packed with secret locations, rewards, interesting characters and, of course, formidable enemies both robotic and natural for Cal to best in lightsaber-fueled battle. Planets also aren't unlocked in Star Wars Jedi Survivor, you'll simply visit all six of the major locations during the main story, and once you've visited a planet and repaired the Mantis, you can travel back to it at any time to explore to your heart's content and sweep up those secrets you left behind on your first visit. So, here's a Jedi hitchhiker's guide to every planet in Jedi Survivor. First up is Coruscant, the galactic capital and where your journey will begin as Cal Kestis. Once the first seat of power for the Republic, the huge planet is now home to the Empire and brimming with threats for Cal to navigate. The planet's grey surface is actually the upper reaches of endless buildings that descend down thousands of metres. And while Coruscant's architecture may radiate with imperial grandeur, travelling downwards towards the planet's surface reveals the true unsettling face of Coruscant. Next up is Kobo, home to Rambler's Reach Outpost and a saloon, the rugged planet of Kobo is located on the edge of the Outer Rim. Since the Republic's departure, Kobo has become a home for a community of prospectors looking to make a living from the planet's natural resources. Brimming with rainforests, wildlife both deadly and benign, and dangerous bandits, Kobo may be beautiful, but you should always be on your guard when exploring this forgotten planet. All kinds of creatures live here that would love to chow down on a Jedi. Then we have Jeddah, a harsh desert planet very few life forms have the resources or skills to survive on Jeddah. Home to giant scorpions, powerful sandstorms and countless ruins from a bygone age, the planet is brimming with secrets hidden out of plain sight under the sand. Jeddah's barren landscape does come with its advantages though, and it's a perfect place to hide a base of operations out of the Empire's reach, which you never know might come in useful to Cal Kestis. Next up is the Shattered Moon, an orbiting moon of Kobo, the Shattered Moon was grievously damaged in a past disaster and now hangs menacingly in space above the planet. A vast Republic facility was erected on the planet to research the Kobo system and its anomalous properties, but this was abandoned long ago, leaving purposeless droids strewn across the facility to slowly waste away. And then we have Nova Garen. Hidden amongst a dense cluster of stellar crystals, Nova Garen is the Imperial Security Bureau that manages to operate as both a clandestine listening station and a fully armed Imperial staging area. Under the command of a shady chief supervisor, the Bureau gathers data on the adjacent systems and draws up plans for large-scale operations that will no doubt be incredibly evil and malicious. Just the kind of thing you might want to stop as a young Jedi. And finally, we have the end game world. So beware spoilers for Jedi Survivor here. If you don't want to know what planet the game ends on, click off the video now. This is Tanalor, a secret planet that lies beyond the Kobo Abyss, hidden from Imperial designs. A special compass is required to reach it and navigate the Abyss, which is exactly why the Jedi of the High Republic established an outpost temple on the planet. However, after it was somehow invaded by Nihil attackers, the Jedi Council ordered all of the compasses to be destroyed. Now, it could be the perfect planet to hide from the Empire and finally live without the fear of being controlled. So there you have it, those are all the planets in Star Wars Jedi Survivor and how you can visit them during your adventure. And if you're looking for some more deep dives and guides into the wide world of Jedi Survivor, including where to unlock some of the best perks for the early game, check out these videos here.